Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a VR, is it to the um, Oracle decks with Attitude? Uh, and the VR is to Tegan at Cosmic Creepers, because I believe she kind of got this one up and rolling. Um, and when we're talking Attitude today, I'm talking sarcasm. You know, something sassy, something with attitude, something that straight talks you um, and isn't really sugarcoating the message. Uh, straight off the bat, that would be five decks from one particular creator for me, and that would be Patrick Valenza. However, um, I've already spotted these three in other people's videos, so I didn't want to bore you all too much with them. Um, and I have pulled out a few others just to talk about. They're not going to be quite as sassy as these ones, to be fair. Um, Kelly Bear is the one of the main reasons why I own the Secret Pocket Oracle from Mildred Payne. Um, and this one, I think she has, uh, yeah, well, I know. She has done so many videos and so much um, information about this, including turning it into a Lenneman. She has her little book. She talked about this in her video. In fact, you get to see all the things that she made and her little keepsakes and things. But I think this is like seven years ago that she did all that. Um, but those videos are what enticed me into buying this deck eventually and buying the whole Thing. So I waited for the Dulux full expansion pack because she talks about it coming out in um, parts. So you had to keep ordering like the expansion packs and uh, I'm not one for that. So I got this one and I've got the Dulux edition, which is kind of poker size. So that's the that's one that I would have definitely talked about. Um, she also talked about the Black Enchantment, which is the other one I would have talked about just because it's so comical. This one I use more in a musings format than I do for anything else. But um, Kelly again talks about the kind of block. This is line drawing from Patrick, but it's designed to look like blockwood prints. Um, and if you go to the Museum of Witches, they've got some of the original blockwood print printings or they've got replicas of the printings, perhaps, um, in the museum. Uh, which I saw a couple years ago, which was really cool. And again, Kelly has seen some of these originals as well um, and just how similar they are to these cards. While she was talking, actually, it occurred to me that had I have known they were there, it would have been really, um, you know, a really nice thing to take this deck with me and then find the ones that looked like the pictures in the um, museum and take a picture of them all side by side. So this one, uh, the humour in the cards. Um, and to be fair, the guidebook that he puts together with these um, which once you've purchased the deck, you can then get the link for his PDFs. Um, so that's how you know that you've got an original, not a fake. Um, then, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, but he's um, kind of channeled thoughts on these. And I've seen this one on, uh, oh God, is it Readings by a Bitch? Thoughts? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, she talks about this one just being quite amusing. Um, doesn't really pull too many punches. I do need to look up the meanings for this one every time I use it just because I'm not familiar with the names of everything. Um, so, yeah, I do use this one when I've got a bit more time to sit and read. But the, again, it's got the same Patrick Lens of Sass. So those are would have been in my five decks. So I just wanted to mention them and not kind of waste too much time on them. However, hadn't seen that one yet, so I'm, I'm pulling it. <laughs> Um, I have this in both colours, this colour and the x-ray colour. Um, this one really doesn't pull any punches when it's talking to you. Um, and um, I just think it's really funny. Now, what I will just say to note, there are some cards. I think this is one of them. Uh, there's the Mad Woman. Um, I think it's the other one. Maybe the asylum, I'm not sure. Um, but they are going to be in the, or you'll see similar images, upgraded images in the Deviant Moon Oracle. And the reason for that is because this is an abandoned oracle, hence its name, the Abandoned Oracle. This this project started a long, 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 long time ago and then got put on a shelf. Um, and then the other deck started being created and then this one came back in and finished and got put out. So um Hence the reason Abandoned Oracle, but the images, although they are similarities, they are very different in style. But they just, um, some of these, you know, like Blase, it just calls you out. The keywords are brilliant. Um, like with the hand. So if I just I've specifically got the guide out so we can just go through the um, meanings that Patrick gives them. 
So a fiendish hand reaches into the oblivion, ready to do the devil's work. Four eyes emerge from the knuckles, eager to witness the mayhem about to ensue. So I, I like the kind of dark, humorous background that he gives you. A bottle of poison. Fix your woes, the mermaid. So, yeah, so I like this one. We have the elixir to the poison. The beast, this one I think you'll see turn up in the um, new Deviant Moon Oracle, which is due to come out very, very soon. I'm saying very, very soon. It's been very, very soon for two years. Uh, the Mutant. So it's just, you know, again, the humour, combustion. Like, are you being a little bit hot-headed here today, love? Calm the F down. Twisted. You can take that anywhere you need to. Sculpture. Yeah, so I found this one to be fairly um, good in its, like, calling you out, you know, if you if you don't know like you want to know what your underlying issue is and it it spits out something like envy or disorientation or poison you know it just really does um get you going so yeah there's one so we're going to call that my deck one My deck two is going to be this one. Pull down the standard version for you. So um, this, again, can be used either way, either as a triumph deck or as an oracle deck. And, uh, the, sorry, I'm moving around quite a bit, aren't I? The Harlequin is a happy, carefree personality taking life in, in stride. Uh, strong, sometimes man maniacal sense of humour and a ringleader. So you have the kind of architect architecture <laughs> archetype <laughs> with these um, from Patrick when we're looking at these decks. So um, I don't even know what you how you pronounce this, but it's a Yulu or something. And it's a new situation, underdeveloped potential, looking for new skills and opportunities. So uh, the names, the weird looking people, Zalopopus. Um, is a handy and skillful person, I guess you would be, with your claw on your tail and a snout plus your four hoofs and a horn and big ears. Um, but yeah, so you've got skillful and knowing what to do in any situation, natural gifts and tools to complete the difficult tasks. So yeah, the humour from um, Patrick is definitely there in these cards. Um, again, you print these off from the website, so I'm just going through for you because I don't work with this deck very often. Well, actually, I probably haven't worked with it since I had it two years. Um, disingenuous or deceitful personality, fake friend, an exaggerator, and a know-it-all. So this is your Zelen. So just to show you some more of these cards. They are both cute and funny. Standard, what we've come to expect. Um, but yeah. That's going to make my deck number two. Okay, putting them away as I go. Deck number three doesn't come with a box, or I didn't purchase the box for it, so it's in this um, bag from Amazon because it's so big. And that is the Zombie Tarot from Dragoshi, Galaxy Daydreamer. And I'll just bring you down to look at this one. It's quite dark, um, kind of imagery. These are the backs, and just I've put it on the top here. But um, when I was shuffling it to see what energy I had today, this is the kind of straightforward talking I get from this deck. So here's the card that flipped out. So um, clarity today. So, <laughs> and then what I what I did was I flipped it round to the bottom of the deck to see what I was clarifying. <laughs> clarity, use your brain cell. I mean, that is that is this deck in a nutshell for me. That is how literal sarcasm it can be for me. But then on the same breath, it can also have um, like reasonable messages in it with, you know, possibilities, like turning point, if you're lucky, um, having gratitude, solutions to your issues, freedom. Um, but it also has, you know, like your point of view, like change your point of view, love, hiding outside threats so it does have um more provoking keywords in it which is probably the point of this deck actually is the um keywords 
And this is um, available on make plain cards. This is the expansion, the full pack with the expansion in it. So it's both sides, the dark and the light sections because she added to it. Um, and I have it in the poker size, as you see, because I just wanted it in small. I didn't feel like I needed this in big, but it does come in big. And I'm not even sure if this is the one that she has in a circular deck or if it's the other. She has a circular deck as well. She has a few decks out, to be fair. Um, and there's one with just... So you they're kind of missing emotional, like, places, uh, places, um, people. These are more objects and things around that you, you get to see. So that is done on purpose. So that is my deck number three. Deck number four, well... I'm sure this one has been shown. The Rebel deck, I mean, come on. All right, so it's a double-sided deck and I'll just leave you to read the messages. So. because we know what YouTube's like. Like that. <laughs> there it is, your straightforward message. That one, a lot of us could listen to that one. That's a great one. Love that one. So both sides are equally as afflicted in this deck. <laughs> uh, people who open their wallets and moths fly out. So yeah, that's my deck four. Fairly straightforward in its talking. Um, I, this one sits, really, this one sits in my um, unicorn box upstairs. Purgatory box, whatever you want to call it, but it's my box upstairs with my collector's decks that I don't use. So this is where this one actually sits for the majority of its time because I've tried with it and it doesn't work for me. But other people, when they read with it, they get the message that I need to hear, but it doesn't give me the message I need to hear, which is hilarious. So the Rebel deck is my deck number four. And then deck number five, again, this is one because it's got really good keywords that I've pulled out. So it's the Earthbone Oracle, the um, Mass Market Edition from Rockpool um, by Assyrian Shadow. It's got some really nice decks out, but this is the one that, I like the backs, the gorgeous blue, and I need to pull you out a bit for this, sorry. So um, this one is more, the, the word at the top is kind of fairly straightforward, and then the keywords. So you normally get what you need off the card, but just to add to it so you can see, um, let's get to number 18, just to see what the book adds for you because you do get an affirmation. So you get an affirmation here. So the affirmation for number 18. So we have the sorcerer, ambition, willpower, creation. So you get some really good, like a keyword and some jumping off words there. Um, I ignite my soul's passion to live my highest potential. I am willing to believe that I am creating all my experiences. So, and then the book actually says, attraction is an inner process based on how you choose to think or react never operate from deficiency or lack. S circumstances have very little to do with reality. It's your attitude toward circumstances that reflects your reality and life. Um, take what you are and accept it. You are not deficient. You are unique. Be the kind of person you choose to be. Everything that comes your way is an opportunity and a blessing. Celebrate it. Take control of your thoughts. You have the power to make your life absolutely perfect. The image in your mind manifests into reality. The key to having any desire is visualization. Believe it. Even when circumstances get you down, understand that there are no mistakes. Everything in this world is a miracle. There is a lesson in everything. Celebrate the lessons. When you begin to change thought, into quality thinking or change your thinking 
from how things appear and practice being grateful for every lesson, you unlock the flow of your desires. Okay, I just want to say right now how that just totally goes with those two cards I had in the Zombie Oracle, right? Which I can't find. But does that not just epitomize the, um, the brain and the clarity card that I had a minute ago? I can't find them, so I'm not sure what I do with them. So if somehow I got shoved into that. But yeah, so that like just bounces right off the card I just had out. Here we have flow, recovery, moving on, finding peace. Um, so they have a sort of life together within the car. So there is, um, you know, because you're going from the sorcerer that's talking about bringing in the flow, and then at 21, you've got flow. So there is kind of like a progression in the story. Here we have 31 with Condra, higher self, fertility, and creativity. As I'm talking to you right now, this is only occurring to me, by the way. I haven't actually gone through to see how that works up the cards, whether that's even true or not. Um, 32, the serpent, rebirth, unconventionality and non-conformity. So you have your adversary, hard work, diligence and progress. Your rider with movement, quick decisions and progress. So yeah, you do get like some repetitive words, but that's because the word is important to the card but the card has a very different meaning and a different context to that word progress when you're talking about progress in hard work or progress in quick decisions they they, they have different outcomes don't they different connotation to what we're talking about with the word progress are we progressing because we had to or are we progressing because we wanted to um, are you being forced it was a choice or is it out of circumstance or happenstance so yeah, so you have your pack, inner work, deep connections, your soul tribe, prudence, the trinity. So this is a, a delightfully dark deck um, in imagery. Uh, you could say, if you want, the rebel deck is a complete outsider with its bright pinks, Barbie pinks for um, my collection. That's not the reason why it's upstairs in the other pile there. Spectres, Wayfarer. So those are my five um, decks with attitude. Five decks with attitude. Or it would have been five decks with attitude <laughs> so, yeah there we go um i look forward to seeing what you've all pulled and why um obviously i could have talked about these in more depth but let's keep it short and sweet until the next one take care bye bye